NVIDIA and Google DeepMind to power Disney's cute robots. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang announced Tuesday at GTC 2025 that NVIDIA is partnering with Disney Research and Google DeepMind to develop Newton, a physics engine that will simulate robotic movements in real-world environments. Disney will be among the first to use Newton to power its next-generation entertainment robots, such as the Star Wars-inspired BDX droids, one of which was on stage with Huang during his keynote speech on Tuesday. NVIDIA plans to release an early open-source version of Newton in late 2025. Disney has been toying with the idea of bringing these Star Wars-inspired robots to its parks around the world for years. Several controlled demos of the droids have been done, most recently at South by Southwest 2025. Now, probably thanks in part to Newton, Disney thinks the technology is ready and plans to showcase the robots in several theme park locations starting next year. The collaboration with NVIDIA and Google DeepMind will also play a key role in powering future Disney attractions, Disney Imagineering Senior Vice President Kyle Laughlin said in a press release. Newton should help robots become more expressive and learn how to handle complex tasks with greater precision, NVIDIA said. The physics engine is designed to help developers simulate how robots interact with the natural world, which can sometimes be a challenge for robotics developers. NVIDIA claims that Newton is highly customizable. For example, developers can use it to program robotic interactions with food items, cloth, sand, and other deformable objects. NVIDIA added that Newton will be compatible with Google DeepMind's ecosystem of robotics development tools, including its physics engine Mujo Co., which simulates multi-joint robot movements. Newton was one of several announcements NVIDIA made this week to kick off GTC 2025. The company also announced Groot N1, an AI base model for humanoid robots that it says will enable robots to better perceive and reason about their surroundings. The company also shared a timeline for its next-generation AI chips, including the Blackwell Ultra and Rubin, and announced a new line of personal AI computers. All right, good. Right there. That's good. All right, Stan. Okay, we have another amazing news. I told you the progress of our robotics has been making enormous progress. And today we're announcing that Groot N1 is open sourced. I want to thank all of you to come to... to get, Let's wrap up. I want to thank all of you for coming to GTC. We talked about several things. One, Blackwell is in full production. And the ramp is incredible. Customer demand is incredible. And for good reason. Because there's an inflection point in AI, the amount of computation we have to do in AI is so much greater as a result of reasoning AI and the training of reasoning AI systems and agent agentic systems. Second, Blackwell NVLink 72 with Dynamo is 40 times the performance, AI factory performance of Hopper. And inference is going to be one of the most important workloads in the next decade as we scale out AI. Third, we have an annual, annual rhythm of roadmaps that has been laid out for you so that you could plan your AI infrastructure. And then we have Two, we have three AI infrastructures we're building. AI infrastructure for the cloud, AI infrastructure for enterprise, and AI infrastructure for robots. <laughs> we have one more treat for you. Play it. Thank you everybody, thank you for all the partners that made this video possible.
Thank you, everybody, that made this video possible. Have a great GTC. Thank you. Hey, Blue. Let's go home. Good job. Good little man. Thank you. I love you, too. Thank you.